Well, Tropical Depression Isaac is now heading for the tri-state, and that could mean a blackout if winds and rain topple power lines. So we have a timely new report on which generators are best if your power goes out. After Hurricane Ike power outage four years ago, more and more people are convinced it's worth buying a power generator. Once you lose power the first time for any period of time, you don't need any reasons to get a generator. You're, you're going to get one. But which ones are worth the money? Our partners at Consumer Reports magazine just tested 14 generators, ranging from $700 to more than $3,000. Testers found that with small portable generators, runtime depends on the type of fuel they use. We found most gasoline models were pretty much the same, last anywhere from 8 to 10 hours, depending on your power demands. So be aware you'll need plenty of fuel on hand. And if you want to power the whole house, you'll need a transfer switch to hook to your electric box. It can cost up to $900. Stationary or built-in generators are much more convenient. They run on natural gas or propane and start automatically. If you want to power your whole house, a large stationary generator would be better because they'll power things like your stove, your dryer, your central AC system, and stuff like that. Among whole house stationary generators, Consumer Reports named the Generac Core Power a Best Buy. It costs $1,800 plus installation. On a budget, Consumer Reports recommends a portable Generac model GP5500. It'll power your fridge, TV, and lamps for $670. To be safe, never run a generator inside a garage and run it as far as possible from your house, away from any open windows or doors. And finally, beware cheap generators for $500 or less. Many of them don't power much and they can be very, very noisy. On